The standard form equation of a line. This tutorial can be found at mathwarehouse.com slash equation line where you'll find a bunch of other goodies including some tutorials, worksheets with answer keys, interactive lines that you can drag around and explore with. Um, okay, and this tutorial is going to be broken down into four parts. We're going to start off with a explanation of standard form whose general form you can see on the graph here, ax plus by equals c. And then we're going to look at common types of problems students have to answer involving standard form. We're going to, you know, I'll give you an equation. We'll come up with the intercepts and graph it. Uh, then we're going to look at how to convert it to slope-intercept form. And at the end, we're going to do a little bit of a comparison of the pros and cons of standard versus slope-intercept form. All right, so the standard form equation of a line is given as ax plus by equals c. where a is not zero and b is all is not zero. It's okay if a is zero or b is zero, but they both can't be zero. So what does this look like? It looks something like 3x plus 2y equals 11. All right? We have an a and a b, they're not zero, and we have some number on all alone on the side, some constant. Um, it would not and it would, be, it would be okay if b were 0, like you could say 3x equals 11, or 2y equals 11, but either a or b has to be not 0. Alright, so now, after that quick introduction, let's look at some equations and see if you can identify which ones are in standard form. Here's, let's call it equation a, b, c, b. D and E, and let's go through them one by one and see if they're in standard form. 3x plus 5y equals 2. Standard form, right? We have the x and the y terms all on one side, the constant or the number on the other, and that's a problem here, right? Like, B is not in standard form. And we need the number on one side and the y on the other, so nope. 13x minus 2y equals 7. Well, we've got the number or the constant isolated. That's good. We have x and y on the other side. So yes, we're fine. It doesn't matter if we have a negative sign. Likewise, you can have this can a and b can be negative as long as the x and, and the y term are on one side and the constants on the other. We're good. And the same goes for the last problem. This is also in standard form. It's just that. You can, can think, you can think of this as 0x minus 5y. Remember, you can have a 0 in front of x as long as one of the terms is not 0. Okay. Okay, let's look at two equations, 2x plus 3y equals 6, and then 5x minus 2y equals 10. And let's graph them. And whenever you're going to graph an equation in slope-intercept form, I want to point out one thing. Unlike y equals mx plus b, we do not have access to the slope for 2x. We, don't, there's, we know nothing about the slope. So, the easiest thing to do is to find two points on the graph and then to connect them. To graph our line. Now, that happens to be very easy. If we set x equal to 0, then we end up with 2 times 0, or 0, plus 3y equals 6, divide both sides by 3, right? To get that y will be 2. So there's one point, the point 0, 2. How can we get another point easily? We can set y equal to 0. Right? When y is 0, all we have to do is find what x is, and we've got our second point. Here's point 1. So now let's solve this for when y is 0. And you have 2x equals 6, or x equals 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So now we have two points. These are the x and the y intercepts, right? The x and the y intercepts are where the equation crosses the line. They also happen to be the two easiest points that we have access to. 
they're easy because we set x to 0 and that gets rid of a term we just have to solve for y and then on the other case we set y to 0 which gets rid in this case of this term and then you can solve for the x which gives us our two points so now all we have to do is plot them and connect the dots x is 0, y is 2 here's our point zero, 02 the y intercept y is 0, x is 1, 2, 3 or the x-intercept, and our line goes through these two points. I didn't draw that perfectly, and draw the arrow symbol to indicate that it keeps going. Okay, so a quick recap. Since we don't have access to slope, the easiest way to graph this is to find the intercepts. The intercepts are just two points in the equation, and we, and we find them by setting x to 0 and solving for y, and then setting y to 0 and solving for x. That gives us the y-intercept and the x-intercept, and then you can just connect the dots. Alright, so 5x minus 2y equals 10. And remember, we're going to first, we need two points. We need one when x is 0. We need to find the y. So let's do that first. Set x equal to 0. You get 5 times 0 minus 2y equals 10, or minus 2y equals 10. Divide both sides by negative 2 to get that y equals negative 5. There's our first point. And our second point is going to be x equals something and we're going to set y equal to 0. So it'll be 5x minus 2 times 0 equals 10. Just put a 0 in for y. And solve for x, right? 5x sorry, 5x equals 10, divide both sides by 5, and you get that x equals 2. Alright, so the last two steps are just to plot the x and y intercepts and connect the dots. So we have x equals 0 and y equals negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 0, negative 5. Just to recount that to make sure I count it right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. And then x equals 2 and y equals 0. And from here, it's just a question of connecting the dots. Alright, so that's how you find the intercepts and graph the line. In fact, if you have to graph the line, all you have to do is first find those intercepts. Set x equal to 0, solve for y. Set y equal to 0, solve for x plot the points and connect the dots. Alright, one of the th things we said about standard form is that it does not have slope, right? We, have, we don't know anything about the slope. Which is fine if all we want is the intercepts or to come up with a quick graph, but y equals mx plus b or slope intercept form it is useful for, you know, many reasons including that we can see the slope. So oftentimes students have to rewrite standard form in slope intercept form. So let's try that for instance with 2x plus 15y equals 30 this is in standard form and we want our final answer to be y equals something something x plus b, right? So we want to solve for the y term and to do that you subtract the x term from both sides so you get, in this case, 15y equals negative 2x plus 30. And now we just have to have y, not 15y. So divide everything by 15. And you end up with negative 2 over 15x plus 2. So now we can see that the slope is negative 2 over 15. And the y-intercept is um, 2. Of course, we could have gotten the y-intercept easily here, but... If, you're, if you have to rewrite this in y-intercept form, just remember what you do is you subtract the x term and then divide by the coefficient in front of y. Let's do the same thing here. Remember, we want our final, final answer to be y equals, so we have to get the, four, the 4x onto the other side. Negative 5y equals negative 4x um, plus 14. We need y, not negative 
y, so let's divide everything by negative 5 to get our final answer of y equals, remember we have a negative over negative, so that'll be 4 fifths positive x plus 14 over 5. Slope intercept 4. Let's do one more. 2y plus 5x equals 22. Remember, subtract the x term from both sides. So we have 2y equals negative 5x plus 22. Then divide by the coefficient in front of y, and you get y equals negative 5 over 2x plus 11. All right, so that's how you convert from standard form to slope-intercept form. Let's um, let's conclude with just a little com discussion of standard versus slope-intercept form. Um, in slope-intercept form, there's some there's some information we know that we don't know in standard form. In slope-intercept form, we have immediate access to the y-intercept as in the graph at the bottom, y equals 5 fourths x plus 5, you immediately know that the y-intercept is 5. You don't have to do any work. You also have immediate access to the slope. It's always m, or 5 over 4. Neither one of those are immediately available to us upon looking at standard form ax plus by equals c. If you know that the equation is 3x plus 5y equals 15, you can easily graph it by plotting the two points as we did, and you can pretty easily find the y-intercept and x-intercept, but even finding the y-intercept of 0, 3 would involve, like we did, setting x equal to 0 and solving for y. So slope-intercept form does have the advantage of letting you immediately know the slope and the y-intercept. Standard form gives us, the main advantage of standard form in terms of what we've done today is that it is pretty easy to find the x-intercept. You just set y equal to 0 and solve for x. All right, that's it for standard form, slope-intercept form. There's a lot more information on the website, mathawarehouse.com slash equation line. Okay, I'd like to end the video with um, how you could use a really awesome free online tool um, that works very well with the standard form equation of lines, something that most calculators cannot grab. Anyway, if you go to meta-calculator.com you'll see something like this click on graphing calculator and what, one of the awesome things about this calculator is you can enter equations in any form like you can type 2x plus 5y equals 10 hit the graph button and you will see the equation of your graph and you wrote that in standard form you can see the intercepts at negative 2 and 5 uh, as you might expect from having done this tutorial and you can enter up the seven equations. Again, you can type equations in any form, standard form, point slope form, um, anything you want. That's one of the awesome features of Meta Calculator. So if you're working on standard form equations and you want to double check your graph, just type in the URL and see if you did it right. And one last neat feature of this is there's a save graph button. So you can even produce an image of your graph um, from the standard form equation. Thanks a lot. Feel free to visit the website, Meta Calculator, or Math Warehouse to um, work more on standard form equations of lines. lines. Thank you.